special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days Tonight, Darkness Falls Mods. As you guys can see, we are playing version 4.1.1. Apparently, um, the one upload platform uh, released 4.1.1 prematurely. A lot of people got it and I was like, you know what? Yeah, everyone have it. So this is awesome. We actually, I actually thought today, ooh, when's the update coming out? And when I checked the announcements on Discord, I was like, oh, nice. I am not going to be restarting, guys. Um, as always, it's recommended you restart so you don't get any bugs and stuff. Uh, but even if you do, you might get bugs. It's recommended you restart, but it's not required you restart. Um, the, re uh, the thing is, I got so far already. We have a farm. At the bottom right, we are playing the mining and then also a bit of farming and stuff and horde base repairs so the horde base is now ready for day 42 horde and yeah yeah um now that we have our corn farm this farm like yeah i can't i just can't go and start over now that we finally finally started this thing over here if there's too many game breaking bugs and stuff we might have to restart um but yeah i'm hoping that's not going to be the case i'm actually also going to put this on now my question is how is my experience gonna be because it's not an early game anymore and stuff with all of these new bosses and stuff in the game um i'm guessing the new demons are in now and i need to actually check that that would be cool if we get all of those new ones early now let's not quickly see over here um can we modify this yeah i'm just gonna use this one because you can put eight mods on compared to the ratchet over there and we're gonna put the hatches in and then we're just gonna have fun. guys we have to go and do a lot of stuff right now Horde Knight is approaching. At least I have the repairs done, so that's great. But Horde Knight is approaching, so we have to make sure that before then we have everything in place that we need. Let me just quickly do this. I want to see how many mods can actually fit on... No, not that one. How many mods can fit on this over here, so we can just do as much damage as possible. Um, Not really a lot of melee items. Dum -dum -dum. Okay. So, we go over here, modify, put this on. Can't put that one, can't put that one, can't put that one already on there. Okay, so for now, at least there's more mods on there that was on there. And then I'm also going to take more of these. Do, 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 and combine it with this one to just make sure we repair it. Now, um, let me just see how much steel and stuff I'm still making. Ooh, I'm actually very, very short. But remember, guys, we already did the big bunker. I'm actually going to go and do the big bunker again um, when we are closer, like when we have the ammo and stuff for it. So we already did the whole storyline, um, but with all the new demons and bosses and stuff that's added, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> it, it might just be fun to go and check if we can actually do it again. Um, whether we'll be able to do or not is a different story because it is going to get way tougher now. Okay, so we need more batteries, right? Oil batteries. Hmm, okay. So, I need lead. I don't think we have any lead left. Yeah, we don't have any lead left, unfortunately. The only steel we have left is like a stack and a half or something. And then we have like 800 concrete blocks. I want to make my own horde base. Now that we have this horde base repaired, everything up and running, I want to make my own and see how far we can get. Food and water is doing fine. Farm is doing fine. I haven't had a wandering horde in a while. I'm actually really curious to see with my game stage as high as it is right now uh, at 196, level 69. Um, and now with a new update, are we going to get new zombies now? Or is it going to be later? Or how is this going to work? Okay, I'm going to need to bring that steel over here before one night and just make sure this is also... Also guys, um, as some of you know, this over here, these two blo uh, blocks are bugged. You can't place anything there, so I just did this with the bars. And also, for those of you new to the channel, there are bl uh, bugged blocks. Uh, I don't have to do anything upstairs. Yeah, I made all of this concrete and on the bottom. There are bugged blocks in the game. I'll show you now when we're inside. Basically, always, always, always when you use Anna's base as a base, there's going to be two, just one block all the way up um, vertically. Yeah, it's going up all the way to the top, to the bottom. This over here, you cannot place any blocks there. Uh, blocks there. I cannot even destroy the destroyed stone over here. Even if the destroyed stone wasn't here, you cannot place anything over here because it's claimed. Okay, let me just see. We need more gas and stuff. We have some breaching rounds. I'm going to have some fun. I'm just hoping we're ready for Horde Knight because it seems like we might not have enough stuff. I need to see if we can't get better M60s and stuff too. Or hopefully get way more quail ammo by that time. To unlock the quail ammo, let me just quickly see, uh, quickly see over here. We can already make these at least. I think. 
No, it's still locked. Okay, it's behind Quail Crafting Level 2. And let me just see, what level do I need to be? Need to be level 75. We are level 69. So six levels away from being able to get that Quail Crafting. Uh, it's just we have that we have to make as many 762 rounds as possible. Just to see if we can get some if stuff done. Buy, I've got okay, so I'm going to do that. Let's just see what you have for us. We have 26,000 coin of here. I should probably every now and then go to the traders as well to see if they have any master books for us. Well, you guys, apparently if you sell, oh, if you scrap a master book, you get like 480 notes. And I didn't realize that. So I, I need to verify whether that actually really is a thing. But yeah, apparently you get all of the I notes well. Knew you'd find something you'd like. All, no, three quarters of the notes back. You use 600, uh, 600 notes to make it, the master book. But you can get 480 back. So that's kind of cool. Why is this destroyed? Oh, that can be destroyed. Yeah, I forgot that was in the beginning. I completely forgot that was destroyable just now. That might have been bad. Okay, I just want to do this. And then we have to repair our laser tool. And my mouse sometimes is way too sensitive. Even during uh, the bun big bunker when I was running away from the one behemoth. I noticed I was turning around. I was like, oh, what? where am I? I almost turned back and ran straight at the behemoth. That could have sucked. Okay, let me see. All this we can actually still also scrap for some titanium. We actually have quite a bit of scrap titanium that we could be using. Okay, I need to put these tools in over here so we can craft even more stuff. I need to see if I can't craft my own bench. But that is a little bit expensive, so we have to wait until we can actually go mining in the wasteland. We can already go to the wasteland because we have 100% radiation protection. But it is dangerous over there, and we used to just dig down inside the trader grounds. Caitlin is now protected, so that's really, really cool. I don't know if the 4.1.1 update changed anything like that to where she's no longer protected or something like that but yeah uh when i was there in the previous episodes um he was protected so that was awesome usually uh caitlin would get destroyed by all the demons and stuff and then you wouldn't be able to go and look at or talk to her because it'd be way 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 too dangerous okay so before we go we need to make sure we are filled with food and water let's do this we actually have quite a bit of stuff over here but i need more for this food i actually thought of an idea that would be really cool for mods imagine if feral sense would get turned on every time he uh, picked up food technically that could be the smell zombies um get uh, there used to be smell in the game where if you had food on you the zombies would actually come for you so it just makes sense that uh, they come for you that way as well okay molotov let's do this and then these we put away for now i need to now guys now the big thing that we have to do is just quest 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 every now and then we have to come back and see if we can replenish the farm we need to grow our farm for quail ammo and we need to make sure we do as many of these quests as possible right now as well. I'm going to go for this drop first. The reason for the quest is we need ammo for Horde Knight. At the moment, we are very, very, very low on ammo. And my gas is almost done. I need to go for the mastery class. I think I have master mechanic, right? Mechanic? Yeah. Okay, so we should be able to make that gas thing. Let me just see if I can't put that in production so long. We need gas right now and we're running out. So it is the oil pump, I think. Oil pump. Okay, I don't know if we have that, those parts. I think that's what we didn't have last time. Okay, cool. We have it this time. That's what we didn't have last time, so we can craft it. Uh, I'm thinking of making at least three. If, yeah, we, actually, we should have enough all of this stuff. Okay, cool. So we're just going to see if we can't quickly make these. I don't know how long it's going to take to craft, but this can actually make your, uh, with this you can make yourself gas. And we really, really, really need the gas right now. Just three minutes. Mm. By the time we come back and go for the level five quest on the other side of the map, this should be done. So let's quickly go uh, get the drop, get the treasure as well. And then when we come back, we can make ourselves some fuel. I'm hoping though that we can actually make it all the way because I am out of gas. Let me just see over your vehicles. There's no gas hidden away. Sometimes I put gas away and I completely forget about it. I even forgot that it was actually possible to repair vehicles and then use them because I haven't come across a single vehicle yet that is repairable. Although, um, I have come across a wandering trader and didn't even realize it was a wandering trader until I lost him. So, I might have come across a vehicle as well without even realizing it. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up my vehicle soon. I don't know if I should... Yeah, I think on the hilly area over here, I should probably run. If we run over here, especially now that we're very low on gas, I'm going to run the rest of the way for this airdrop. And then between this and the treasure, we might drive a bit. I need to make sure we don't use too much gas. 
because I'm going to need that gas. I'm hoping that the gas production itself doesn't take too long. So that I can just quickly make some gas, get back and do some questing. All the driving back uh, to and back from the wasteland really just depleted our gas way, way too fast. I'm really, really hoping that the Wandering Whore doesn't show up now all of a sudden. You're in the middle of nowhere. I also want to see Lucky Looter. How far do I have that? Lucky Looter, quality show all the way maxed. We need to update Fast Eddie as well. That's going to allow us to loot way, way faster. It also says... Oh, for a moment I thought it was... This is just looting speed. For a moment I thought, oh wow, under fast looting you get better loot stuff as well. Remember guys, the survival, uh, survivor or... There was a skill that was removed and put under survivalist. Oh, uh, a class. That one actually had another quality Joe. So, unfortunately, now there's only one quality Joe. And then if you find these glasses, which we got in the big bunker, loot bonus 45. Bonus place reward 25%. So, this is really awesome. Uh, this is going to actually uh, make up for the fact that the other class was removed. Although, it's very rare to get these glasses. This is the first playthrough in a while that I've been lucky to find these. And crap. Utter, utter crap. Damn. I only got lucky once, but super, super lucky by getting that uh, those two Marshy books and the prop over here. And since then, it, it feels like that depleted my luck. Guys, for so, 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 so long, I just couldn't get lucky enough for that. Let me just do this. Um, I was super, super unlucky. I never, ever got the books. And then now I've got two books. And then since then, also just, just crap from all of these drops. So I'm really hoping there's another drop because even if we know the books, we can just scrap them for a ton of notes. I want to say something about the fact that we haven't found, uh, seen a Wandering Horde in a while. I'm kind of worried that if I say it, I'll jinx myself. In my previous series, I got stuck in a neat ground like this with Wandering Hordes all, all the time. Especially with Feral Saints on, it was a nightmare trying to get away. I'll just do that. Yeah, it was a super, super nightmare trying to get away from a Wandering Horde. It, it was basically a death sentence. Because if you're underground... Oh, is that a mountain lion? Yeah. Uh, if you're underground, it makes it really, really hard. Just click it back to our base. Bye 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 bye. Yeah, if you're underground, it makes it so hard to get away from a wandering horde, especially with feral sands on. If it's just a normal wandering horde, they might pass by you if you're lucky. But with feral sands on, they climb into that hole with you. And if you don't have, like I do on my belt, um, some tough blocks you can place in between you and them, you have a problem. And even then, the zombies opt to destroy the dirt around the blocks instead of the block. So they make it to you so easily if you're not careful. Okay, please, this should be done by now. At least two of them should be done because you used two different benches. And yeah, that one's still three minutes to go. So it's more or less just three minutes that we've been away. That's that's cool. Okay, I should probably save my grenades, my pulse grenades. So how many do we have left? 25. I'm actually thinking of just putting these away. We might need it if we come across like really tough uh, wandering wards and stuff. But I think we're going to need more during Horde Night. Especially, you guys, that last Horde Night was insane. Obviously, the two times I died was just due to negligence because I kept blowing myself up. But other than that, we did really, really well. I, I just wish we could have actually made it further. Okay, I'm going to take this with, just in case the traders actually have some stuff for us. And then... Sell, sell. We can put the gun parts away for now. I should also see what kind of weapons I can make myself. We have so many spare items. Look at this. This was almost full. Most of the stuff we can go and sell as long as we just go and repair it first. And then, yeah, we need to actually see how do you make gas and how long does it take. I think you put wood in there. Oil shale. Yeah, you need wood and then you need an engine as well. This is really, really cool, guys. I love this addition. Apparently, it's been in the game for a really long time. But I never, ever, ever knew that this was in the game. Um, or oh, it just was just put in. I'm just thinking of something else. But I really never knew this was in the game. We just put 23 in this one. Oh, that just makes oil shale and then you still have to make your own gas. So, um, if I can just fill up this a little bit. Oh yeah, there was seven in here. Phew, I only actually thought I lost out just now. So we just do that and then we need some... I wonder if you have to wait the full two minutes for all four, 552... Oh no, you don't. Just answered my own question. Okay, so you can actually make gas for yourself. A thousand, that should be enough for now. And you can actually make yourself normal oil like these over here. We just need cans as well. And I think we have some cans somewhere. So at the moment, guys, we have 435 skill notes. I should probably just put the dyes away. So that means we're actually very close to being able to make another class. How many classes do we have right now? We have mastered hunter class. 
Mechanic class. And survivalist class. Unfortunately, our level needs to be level 80 before this one unlocks over here. And then we'll be able to go and craft the multi-laser tool, laser workbench, fusion forge, laser battery mod. This we need to put on our crossbow so we can disable uh, demon regen from a distance. I mean, then that zombie, uh, you'll be able to get the thing's attention, the demon. And you won't have to worry about it not being safe. I'm just going to let that run out on its own. And we can put this over here. Boom. Okay, so we finally have some fuel over here. But yeah, instead of uh, shooting a gun and having all the demons come for you, you use a crossbow bolt to get the attention of one, and it also stops its regen. That helps you out so much. 37%, that's good for now. I'm just going to make sure we go do as many quests as possible. By the time we come back, all of that um, oil shell should be done. I should probably also, every tree that I see, go and stop. Just stop at that tree, break it down, but there's so many trees, I'm going to be stopping all the time. So I think in between episodes, or just quickly cut away and just do it, I need to chop about 6,000, Or if you can buy some wood from the trader, I do that as well. I mean, it's always a waste buying. Let me just quickly put this. So, uh, it's always a waste buying stuff, guys, uh, that you can actually just go and chop down yourself. But if you don't have time to just stop and chop down trees, you can always just buy from the traders. Especially, uh, the, the resources aren't that expensive, so it's actually very nice, be, uh, very easy just to buy some wood and make that into gas. So the trader doesn't sell gas itself. Okay, so this is a tier 5 buried supplies. We need that. Have we mastered scientist? I don't think so, right? Guys, I need that. Uh, where is it? Junk drone, mods, titanium, military tablet. The thing over here. I need the military tablet. So at the moment, I'm making do with this big thing over here that you can actually look through the world. But I do want to make it... I, I want to make it more legit. Do it more legit. So obviously, if we can actually just dig without having to worry... Crap. The circle's going to shrink soon. I messed up for some reason. Okay, so we need to get out of here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Please don't get stuck. I always get stuck over here. 23,000, nice. Okay, are the demons spawning? Let me just do this. Oh crap. Spinning around and having a zombie in your face is scary as hell. I'm trying to get some XP as well by killing these zombies. But it's so easy to miss. Be careful of a mutated crop because it has way more explosion damage. Bye -bye. Okay, but yeah, um, I don't like using this one by one block trick, guys, but without that, we're going to be digging forever and the circle shrinks, 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 shrinks. Look, now that the tier 5s aren't as bad, the tier 5s used to be super, super, super difficult. Um, with demon spawning, just for any kind of tier 5 quest, there would be demon spawning. Now, the, uh, the like you just saw, it was radiated, ferals and stuff, it's not always just demons. So it is more worth facing them or not using the one by one block trick, having zombies spawn in. But just now your game stage gets a little bit too high and then you get actually demons spawning in too. And being stuck underneath ground with demons on top is the worst feeling ever. But if we had the military tablet, we can scan the ground and dig straight down where we're supposed to dig and then voila, problem solved. Okay, uh, let's just do this. This is Lumberjack. Uh, I can't remember if these are going to be demons or not. Let me just do this in case they're not demons, but I think they're going to be demons. No, they're not demons. Cool, 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 cool. Do Do that. Do this. And we should be able to melee most of them today. Maybe be careful that I don't die from own quality right now. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoops. Don't break anything. Don't break anything. Don't break anything. Come on, turret. Help me. Dude, uh, the turret's supposed to help you, but I keep running behind the turret. It's so much easier if the turret actually helped you. I almost died just now. Okay, so now we know the Lumberjacks are not demonic. If we see another Lumberjack quest from the scout, we can take it. But guys, that's one of the biggest additions to the game that I really love right now, or changes to the mod, is the fact that you don't get demons with every single tier 5. Tier 5s used to suck because, I mean, every single tier 5, fetch, clear, um, just digging uh, these kill quests, all of them always had demons. And especially if you don't really have the weapons yet, it's really, 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 really tough. 
but I think it also is depending on your game stage. Soon we'll, uh, we're going to start getting demonic um, lumberjacks, or it might just be certain quests are just demonic and some are not. And if it's then like that, that would be for? cool. Great job. Okay, so we're going to take this and this since we can't make you guys yet. Three? Oh yeah, I forgot. We can take three. Um, Let's sell this one. Okay, any more jobs? Cable guys, cable guys. All of these are demons. That's demons. Although it shouldn't be too bad to kill them. Um, I think all of these are going to be demon zombies. We're going to do it anyways me? because, I mean, we need to get the XP. So that was which direction? North. If I can get a quest for this little guy to the north, hopefully a day quest that will help us quite a bit. Something now we're cooking. Yes. Okay, I need more notes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna sell all this. And then let me see. Craft and recipes, nothing. When are you gonna teach me something new, dude? Come on. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely buried supplies. Yeah, it's way easier doing the buried supply quest than the fetch quests. Also, to me, it's faster as well. Doom, 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 doom. Sell. We can't sell the quail guns, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd sell that as well. The more cash we have, the better. Um, I should actually be, uh, be starting to see some... I, I don't know if you buy them. I can't remember if you have to buy the um, books or if you have to go... I think it's in the recipe that they can teach you. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I actually bought any uh, of those books, uh, the master books from the traders. So I'm always confused as to where it shows up again. Is it under here somewhere? Or is it when you talk to the dude? Just do this. Much so is it there or is it do, if you do this over here? I think it might be one of these. Yeah, we just have to do, we have to spam these quests right now, guys. The more we get done, the more cash we can do, the more uh, master books and stuff we'll be able to buy. I need as many master books now as possible. We'll do the Itty Bitty Spider first. We don't want to face demons at nighttime. The dig quest is easy enough to uh, ignore the zombie spawning in, but we want to make sure that if there's any demons we have to kill and face, that we're able to just quickly do it. These spiders, I think you have to kill three of these zombies to count for the kill quest. I think usually it spawns like five demons. I want to be careful of that as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, we're going to accept this, we're going to drive away, because it's definitely going to spawn in demonic zombies. Yep, 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 yep. Let me just see if I can get one or two to follow me over here. Oh, okay, that almost hit me. Uh, I want to put this down. But I want to make sure I only get one's attention at a time. Come on. Yeah, come to me, only you. I don't need your friends. Obviously, if I can shoot him with my other gun, the, uh, the other pistol that I have, We'll be able to get more done as well. See, this way, if you can pick them off like this, if I had the laser battery on this, I wouldn't have to worry about getting close enough with my sword right now. See, this gun can actually disable their regen. Oh, it has a silence on as well. Yep. Come on, dude. Get close enough, close enough. I want my turret to help over here. If we can stop its regen, the turret actually does quite a bit of damage to these dudes. Also, you have to make sure they don't hit you because they can set your light. Or they can and they will set your light. Probably bring my turret closer as well because this is too far away. I want my turret to actually help out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Do this. Do this. It doesn't look like he's regening, so that's good. That means the regen is getting stopped. That's what we're looking for right now. We need to make sure we can kill these dudes without taking too much damage. Okay, it says we turn to trade. I think there's one or two more of here, but we don't have to kill all of them. You literally only have to do three of them, and then that's fine. Do this. And lock. 24, 23 slots. Although, if I do this... 24, 25 slots. Yeah, it's easy enough. If you just have a weapon that can stop their regen, so they don't regen on the way to you... And if you have a turret as well. If I had three turrets, we'd be doing way, way better as well. So technically what I should be upping is this one over here. I want to be able to deploy two turrets. We now have two turrets active at the same time. I'm going to go for that one. If we can use two of these uh, auto turrets, or these junk turrets, um, have it like in a crisscross position and then take on these demons, you just have to make sure they're not regening. And these turrets can clear them out fast. Apparently, there's a ton of people that only use uh, like three turrets, fully modded, 
And they don't even really use that much ammo when they go into the big bunker. They just make sure they have a laser weapon to disable regen. And then they shoot at the dudes and then do so much damage because without the regen, the turrets are OP as hell. Okay, this is the first time I've almost dug down straight on top of these quests or are these big quests over here. I still need to be careful because of this circle shrinks while I'm down here. Which is going to do soon. Oh, it's going to shrink soon. Okay, I need to make sure that we're standing up. We can jump out, right? You see that. I hate it when I test whether I can jump. I can, and then as soon as I accept this quest, or I get stuck on a block or something. Damn, I was hoping for more cash. And I'm not going to kill any of these dudes right now. There's no point in doing so. I want to make sure we at least miss the water over here, and then go straight back to the quest. Guys, our whole goal right now is to make money, make ammo, and then we should be ready for the day 42 horde. I'm actually kind of curious now with the 4.1.1 update, whether the bosses and stuff also show up earlier. Because the, from going from version 4 to version 4.1.0, there were so big changes with the, the zombie spawning with tier 5s and stuff. So now with the 0.1 update, I'm kind of hoping that stays more or less the same, because I have this bad, bad, bad feeling about the day uh, 42 horde. I'm just hoping we have way more coil stuff by then as well to help us out with our fights. Can I help you? Let's see. Um, I'm gonna take this one, Pilly Dog, and we're gonna sell this one. It's nice we can actually accept three. Oh, hello. No crafting. Weapon crafting. We have the cash right now, so I don't have to. I don't mind sp uh, splurging a bit. Weapon crafting. Armor craft. Wait. Gun crafting. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, never mind. Oh wait, did I just buy all of them, or is she refusing to teach me any more right now? I could have sworn I was able to buy more. Did I just buy duplicates? Basically, I bought these over here. Play level eighty. Oh, okay. So I just bought them, but uh, to go active, we need to have a play level eighty. No, that, that doesn't. Does that make sense? It feels like something's off there. I could have seen it was a tool crafting as well, but for some reason, all of a sudden, her crafting is gone. So I think she can only teach you so many things at once, and then from there, it's a crapshoot. I think let's go back to the base. Before we accept, I want to see if in the morning we get some more quests. I want to make sure from him before midnight we actually accept the other day quests. You because you're not guaranteed. Ooh, nice. You're not guaranteed, guys, to get dig quests. So if you see a dig quest, bury supplies, go for it. When he resets after midnight, that would have been gone and there might have not been another dig quest and that would have sucked for us. I'm hoping that the corn has at least grown by now and we can actually do something with it. Because we need to- oh, also we just bought a ton of wood as well from this dude. So now with that, we should be able to get more gas and in the morning, we should have, for the next episode, a full tank of gas. Although I think I used more or less 4,000. How much did I use? I think I used 2 point something, right, to make the gas that I have right now. So with 4.7, we might actually be able to make way, way more, but I'm hoping that's the case. I think, I wonder if I should buy, if she has any wood from her, uh, over here, I'm actually going to buy from her as well. Okay, so hold down E, trade. A lot of people don't know you have to hold down E over here to buy from her. If you just tap E once, it gives you the quest, but if you hold down E, you can buy from her like Jen. Buy that. Let's see, any more resources? I need lead and wood right now. Lead because I want to make more coil ammo, and then wood because I want to make more gas. So if we can buy more... Ooh, hello. If we can buy more, I'm definitely going to buy more. Um, but We are mining in between as well, guys, but just to make sure that we get everything done in time. Probably also buy all the cans I can. How much cash do I have left? Only 6,000. Oh wow, I spent a lot. Oh, that's why she didn't have anything else to sell me just now because I spent all my stuff. Titanium chainsaw will keep for now. I'm actually tempted to sell that. I just do that. Technically, I should probably repair these before selling them, but for now, I just sell them. This I'm going to keep, that I'm going to keep. What was there? Something was here that I need to... Re I need to make sure every time we buy stuff, we put it back Remember as well. Remember me if you need medical supplies. I have to make sure that when I pause and unpause the recording that I let go of the shift key. If I accidentally hold down the shift key, it actually um, doesn't unpause or pause. So I, th I think I'm still busy with an episode or with footage and then all of a sudden I realize, oh no, nothing's actually on camera. It's happened in the past before where I cleared a pure eye and I was like, oh no, I didn't unpause. Okay, so how much fuel do we have right now? I'm actually waiting for that wandering award to come by as well. So we do that, we make even more gas. Six minutes, 70, that's about 
Yeah, eight minutes. Well, that should be enough. That's about seven minutes, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Oh, nice. We're gonna have a full tank of gas for once. And then this, you can actually go and turn into more oil shale. But... I was busy making a third one over here. Should probably make a fourth. It's way easier dividing stuff between four than three. That's why I have four forges, two uneven numbers you can't split properly. It's like when you smell down uh, into the forges and they have three slots to smell into, but you only have one thing to smell to make you three equal stacks suck. Okay, so this is 133. Let me just quickly put this one down as well. Where did I put it? Do this, do no. No, 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 wrong spot. So 133, that's about 44. One's gonna have 45, and then one's uh, the rest is gonna have 44. Let me see if my math is right. 45. It's nice that it doesn't use any fuel, just the. Uh, that's the yeah, 44. Just the uh, engine over here. It's always awesome if you don't have to spend any fuel to make fuel. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff we can just put away for now. I think the corn on top might actually be done as well, so I should probably go check on that. Coil weapons over here. I wanna make sure we have full level 80 coils, uh, like shotguns and stuff. I'm, I wanna get to the point where I don't use normal ammo at all, just the coil. But they are expensive, so this farm needs to succeed. The rest of the stuff I'm just gonna put away and then we have to check the farm. Okay, unfortunately, these seem to... I should actually make this wall bigger. I don't want this happening to my stuff. I mean, it seems the corn is still growing, unfortunately. In the morning, this should be done. Guys, this farm's growing at an alarming pace. Uh, pace. Um, someone actually said that super corn is only for, uh, meant for underground usage, and not, uh, not above ground. But I still feel like you get more for super corn than normal corn. I should probably put, like, one normal corn. Test uh, whether I get the more or less the same or not. But I could have sworn that super corn is definitely supposed to give you more. Um than normal corn. Someone actually said that in one of my previous videos, previous series, way back when. So I don't know if it's still that way. Also, I figured out what was missing in this spot. Uh, 0.44 for this gun. We need to make sure we always, always, always have rounds for this gun. Uh, this one, if we repair it now, what's my weapon handling at? See, if it's over here, I wonder if it's going to take effect or if it's only going to work once I have level 80. If I repair this down, it drops and we know this is not going to uh, be... Let's just repair it. Then at least we know if we're going to be missing something or not. Also, should make sure that we get better drinks because we don't have anything that can really fill us up right now. Uh, farming. We can actually make ourselves some normal of this, but then we have to make ourselves some more normal water first. Okay, normal water. The gun only lost one. Oh, it's not going to go anywhere under one, but it's supposed to, because it was 42, go under 40. That's actually awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to make myself some normal water as well uh, because I want to make myself some golden rod. That's going to be 10 minutes. I need a little bit more. Yeah, that should be enough. And then we can actually make ourselves some golden rod and fill up faster. Because at the moment, we don't really have anything. This gives you 5 water. So even drinking all of this is only... Yeah, I have to drink all of that, actually, just to fill this little bit up over here. But you guys, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and Patreons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.